and this example I want to show you a very easy way to load packages into R. So there are many ways to load packages into R. You can go and search for the package, download the zip file, install it. Um, that works fine, but with this interface that we have here, it's quite a bit easier. We're going to go up here to packages, and you see several options here. The first thing we need to do is set the CRAN mirror. All we're doing is telling R where to go look for packages. And so a list comes up, and these are all different servers that hold the packages. And you see there's a bunch in USA. You can pick any one you want. I'm just going to pick one that's closest to me right now, which is USA Iowa. So now it's going to go to that server and look for packages. So when I go to packages, install packages, give it a second. And here is a list of all the packages that are on that server. And you see there are several, probably a couple hundred at least. And so I find one that I want. Let's find the psych package. See if that's on here. Yeah, psych is a good one. Hit OK. Now it's going and it's downloading that package. And so instead of me going to find this zip file and installing it, it's finding it for me. And it's downloading it. And now it's installed it, and there it's installed. And it's just that easy. Um, this is a great method because those lists are always going to be updated. And it's just a very convenient way to load your packages. Remember that if you want to actually use it, you still have to go library, psych, or whatever the name is. And now it's loaded into memory. But you only need to do this once on your computer. Now that it's uh, loaded into this computer, I'll never have to do that again. And one of my students showed me how to do that, and I appreciate it. It's a nice little tip.